All right, you'll have to forgive me if I stumble through this a little bit. I'm a little worked up because Apple released the new Final Cut Pro 11.2 update, I believe on Thursday. I'm recording this actually on Monday, so a little bit late to the game, but I did read the release notes and there was something very concerning in there for me. And it not only made me concerned about the Final Cut Pro 11.2 update, but it also made me concerned for the Mac OS Tahoe update that's going to be coming out soon. Now, does it mean I'm concerned for every single user out there for every single Final Cut Pro user out there? Absolutely not. But there is a niche sort of core uh, group of Final Cut Pro users that this is going to very negatively affect. And those users are those like me who are really into retro tech, especially retro tech as it relates to playing music, using old hard drives, and using old camcorders. Apple is removing support for Firewire connections to their Macs if you're using Mac OS Tahoe. I'm going to look at the release notes and read the language specifically here in a second, but I just want to repeat that. Apple is no longer going to allow you to connect a device using FireWire in order to transfer data with that device. So this is a big deal. Uh, what kind of devices are affected by this? First, old iPods. Now, this isn't a FireWire iPod. It's the closest thing I have, but let's pretend that it is. If you have one of the original iPods that connects with FireWire 400, you can still connect your iPod to your computer and charge it, but you can no longer sync data between your computer and the device. You're going to have to use an older computer to do that. And so that leaves a lot of people who are really into retro tech, especially original iPods, in the lurch because they can no longer sync their music using a newer computer with a more modern operating system. And then we've got hard drives like this. This is an old hard drive from iOmega that has footage on it. It has stuff on it from the past for me, and it connects with FireWire 400 or FireWire 800. You'll be able to connect this drive and get power to it, but it's not going to mount and allow you to transfer data back and forth. Now, a drive like this does have a USB 2.0 connection, so I still could get data off of it. But if you have a FireWire drive that is only FireWire, it doesn't have a USB connection, if you update to Mac OS Tahoe and Final Cut Pro 11.2, you're not going to be able to move data from it. Even if you don't use Final Cut Pro and you update to Mac OS Tahoe, you're not going to be able to transfer data from an old FireWire-based hard drive. You'll either, either keep an older operating system installed on your computer or you're going to have to get an entirely separate computer with an older operating system to be able to do that. So that's another group that this affects. And there's a lot of people in post-production who have archives from 10 plus years ago, uh, even more, 15 plus years ago when FireWire drives were still alive and kicking. If you have a bunch of those archive drives and every once in a while you pull footage from them or pull up an old project for a client, make sure you have an older machine with an older version of the OS and even an older version of Final Cut Pro if you need to do anything with one of those older projects. And then the last segment that this really impacts, the folks that are into old camcorders like this that run on um, DV tapes or mini DV tapes, any tape-based media where you can connect this with a FireWire cable to a Mac and digitize your footage. Still to this day, you can connect a camera like this to Final Cut Pro and digitize your footage in real time. There's a, a wonderful YouTuber. Uh, her channel is called CQ Lucius. She's a musician. She talks a lot about her life and being an artist and trying to have a normal nine to five job, but still pursuing uh, her career as a musician. And she makes all of her videos on cameras like this that record DV tape. And she uses Final Cut Pro to digitize that footage and then edit the footage that she digitizes. Her videos are wonderful. I'll put a link in the description to her videos. Check them out. When I saw this, I quickly went to one of her videos and dropped a comment to let her know, hey, be careful about Final Cut Pro 11.2 and Mac OS Tahoe because it may literally derail your entire post-production workflow if you do the up 
update. I told her to turn off automatic updates in the App Store. You can do that by going to Settings and disabling automatic updates so Final Cut Pro doesn't update automatically. Because once it does, unless you keep an older version of that software on your computer, you can't really roll back to an earlier version. Now, most of my retro videos where I'm using older camcorders, I'm using an SD card to record on those camcorders, even if it is standard definition or kind of looks like a DV camera might. But for those of you who really want to record a tape-based media and then digitize that footage using Final Cut Pro on, uh, on a Mac operating system, you're not going to be able to do that anymore once you do this update. So really be careful um, when it comes to updating your software uh, and, and paying attention to what your workflow needs specifically are. But let me just read the release notes here. Uh, not all of them, but just as it relates to FireWire. This Final Cut Pro 11.2 update removes support for FireWire connected devices on Mac OS Tahoe. And here's an important point. On Mac OS Sequoia, the current operating system, FireWire Capture is supported but the playback controls in the Final Cut Pro user interface for FireWire connected devices are no longer available. So Apple is removing the portions of the UI in Final Cut Pro 11.2 um, that let you play back uh, the playback controls for FireWire connected devices. While this update, you know, we've got Apple Log, we've got um, ProRes RAW from the iPhone 17 is pretty lackluster. Of course, there's stability and bug fixes and all that kind of stuff. This is really the big one to me that is a setback to this growing population of people who have really become passionate about incorporating retro tech into their channels or into their workflows. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And I have this Sony camcorder that records the DV tape on standby um, to, to make some videos about how you can use something like this with a Mac and Final Cut Pro. And now I'm gonna have to be very careful to change any plans that I have to make these videos to incorporate what you're going to have to do. So what can you do moving forward? You can freeze your computer where it is so that you don't do any Mac OS updates or Final Cut Pro updates. Just keep it as is. You can turn off auto updates uh, in the App Store so that you don't have Final Cut Pro updating by itself or your entire Mac operating system updating by itself. The other option is you can get an older computer. I've got a 15-inch MacBook Pro here. It has the CD drive, all these older connections, including FireWire 800. And you can get a copy of an older version of Mac OS through the App Store from your past purchases, or you could get a software installation disk like uh, an application like uh, Snow Leopard, install that, whatever version of Final Cut Pro would be compatible with that operating system, and you could go back to digitizing your FireWire tape that way. The same thing for an iPod using iTunes. Um, copying over your music library and being able to sync stuff back and forth and using that to be able to access FireWire only hard drives that might have archive projects and footage on them. And this for some people is a great option. These computers are, uh, are pretty affordable on eBay. You can probably get them between $50 and $150 depending on what the machine is. You can also check Facebook Marketplace, local sellers, so that you can pick up an older Mac, iMac, you know, whatever it is. Now I have a bunch of old Macs. I've got a 2013 Mac Pro, I have a 2006 G5 Mac Pro that I just picked up. I've got a couple old iMacs. So I don't really have to worry all that much about still being able to digitize all of my stuff through Final Cut Pro and an older version of the Mac operating system. But those of you that don't have old computers, all of that kind of stuff, please pay close attention to how your workflow is going to have to shift. So just to repeat, if you are someone that is using FireWire-based devices, old iPods, old hard drives, old camcorders, do not update yet to Final Cut Pro 11.2 or Mac OS Tahoe. And if you're already on Mac OS Sequoia and you're using Final Cut Pro 11.2 because it auto-updated or you want to update, you're not going to have playback controls for your FireWire connected camcorders. You'll still be able to capture the footage, but you won't be able to control playback. So you can stay on 11.1.1 if you wanna maintain those playback controls. So let me know down in the comments if this negatively impacts any of your retro tech workflows, whether it's camcorders, hard drives, or even old iPods, or if there's some retro tech that I'm not aware of that's FireWire based, that this is going to cause some issues, whether it's Mac OS Tahoe or Final Cut Pro 11.2. But again, just be careful, read these release notes, 
be uh, cognizant of what these updates are going to do to your workflow. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. And hopefully with some cameras that are Firewire based because DB tape videos, I love them, can't get enough of them.